Welcome back. We're into the Otago herd. We're starting off with J.A. in McLeod, McFarland Valley, South Westland, 1924. 9 by 9, 44 by 43 and 6 long. Crikey dicks. Spread is 39, span is 38 and 6. Beams are 5 and 6 each side. Coronets are 9 and 4 each side. Brow tones are 11 and 7 by 12. The bays are 13 by 13 and 2. And the trays are 14 and 4 by 13 and 4. Outer rolls are 14 by 15 and 6. The inner royal is 7 by 9. Back tines are 21 and 4 by 20 and 6. The first inner off the back tine is 8 and 1 by 10. And the second inner off the back tine is 10 by 7. And the outer off the back tines, 10 and 6 by 9 and 2. For a whopping total of 394 and 3 quarters. Here we go, this is Banwell. This is disputably the finest red deer trophy ever taken from a New Zealand feral herd. It represents the very epitome of perfection in Scottish antler configuration and scores highly as well. The stalking party consisted of MacLeod, Archie Kitto and his father Frank Kitto. They left their camp in the McFarlane Valley and headed upstream to where they had earlier referred to as Two Stag Flat. A stag was observed rubbing his antlers on ribbon woods on the periphery of the flat in very foggy conditions, which tended to suggest his antlers were narrower than desired. However, Kitto Jr. insisted McLeod take him, the stag standing about 120 metres off, standing chest on. He was peering through a thicket of toy toy, presenting a difficult target, an awkward shot for McLeod who fired four times where he considered the chest of the beast would be located. The hinds took off, followed by the stag, at which point Archie Kitto brought the stag down with an accurate shot. However, the stag was wounded, so the trophy belonged to McLeod. In the opinion of Reiter, who has sighted red deer trophies all over the Northern Hemisphere and elsewhere, there is no red deer hid anywhere in the world which would, which would surpass the specimen for either symmetry or beauty. Well, what a start with the Otago herd. Next up we have William Murray, shot over saddle, West Matukituki Valley, 1940. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're sharing this around. Many people know about the Big Game Records as part of the Stag Raw podcast. Little snippets of joy from the Big Game Records and we'll see you there for William Murray from the shot over saddle. Cheers. This is New Zealand Big Game Records Volume 6, The Red Deer Part 2, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, incorporated by D. Bruce Banwell. Published by the Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited, PO Box 360, Auckland, 1140, New Zealand, printed by Prolong Press Limited, China. Um, copyright 2011, D. Bruce Banwell, first published 2011. All rights reserved.